The challenges of climate change continue to get bigger and more complex, leaving scientists with the challenge of explaining their solutions to the general public, which they often can't. So we invited a team of researchers from MIT to see if they can explain their bright idea. Just one caveat, their audience was a group of first graders. So what are some types of weather that we have? Jaden. Foggy or snowy. Foggy or snowy. Rainy. It's rainy. Alex. So like, like in general, summer is hot, but sometimes it could be a little chilly. Yeah, so what do we call that, the in general weather? Climate. Climate. And we had talked about how climate change, we need a lot of ideas if we're going to fix it. So we could make better cars that don't run on gasoline, like if that run on apple juice. We could make a car that run runs on solar energy. That would be pretty cool. So one of the really cool things about today is that there are some scientists here who have an idea. My name is Volodymyr Koman. I'm Sun. Uh, we are working at the light-emitting nanobionic plant. Or, in other words, they are making a plant into a lamp that glows by injecting it with the enzyme found in fireflies. For us to use electricity to turn on the light, we have to make a lot of smoke. Smoke makes the earth like uh, having a fever. Do you know fireflies? Have you ever seen? So we just borrow the light from fireflies and put the light to the tiny bees. So how does the tiny bees get the, the light from the, the bees? Fireflies. The fireflies. Yes. So firefly has chemicals within their body. So we just ask them to give some chemicals. So you tell them? Uh, no, we just... Um, they don't tell them because they're bugs and bugs don't understand people. Okay. <laughs> do you mean like real borrow or do you just keep it? They're not giving it back. So, so plants make their own food in, within their body from the sunlight, a sugar. So a tiny bees meet the sugar within the plant, they can make a light. That's how the plant lamp works. So we will make a plant lamp by your hands today. You guys want to put some glass? Okay, so here, this is sugar from plants, and this is tiny beads from fireflies. You don't see them because they are so tiny. And now we will give you this plant solution. No, not to keep. Not to keep. <laughs> no, we need to turn off the light. <gasps> so now we will add these into your vials. And now everybody no has battery. to close the caps. And shake it up. Do it like this. This kind of makes me think of lemonade. Lemonade. Me too. If you drink this, where you go? No, no. I, we don't recommend you drink it. Yes. What will happen if you just leave this all night? will stop glowing after a few hours because uh, you burn the sugar away. Is there like a magical fire inside it? Yeah, it's kind of a fire that burns sugar. It's getting lighter wow. again. Yes. In a jar, there's a limited amount of a plant energy solution. But when you think about plant, they keep making sugar, right? So the glow um, may be longer than in a jar. Guys, what do you think this could help solve? Jane, what do you think? I think we can probably use this to stop making smoke. Does this light um, have, the, have the smoke? This light has a smoke, but this one doesn't. So what could we replace these? What could you use this for? We could use it for a night light. You could use it for a light! Who wants to have this as their night, night lamp? 
Yeah, everybody. Can you guys make food that stays on forever? Forever, we are trying. We are, we are trying. For real? Okay. Yeah, we are studying now to make the light forever. Can you turn off the lights, please? How about now? Oh. Oh.